Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to get my everyday go-to look that I have going on right here. If you are interested in finding out how I accomplished this and how I was able to do it on a super affordable budget with great quality products, keep watching. Okay guys, so what we're going for today is kind of like your everyday quick if I'm going out with the family or I'm going out to do errands, this is kind of like what I would be doing like my go-to look. Um, I'm not someone who likes to put on a super ton of makeup just to go out often. On occasion I will here and there right <laughs> but um, this is kind of what I go to as like my go-to look so um, first thing we're gonna do is start off with this wet and wild palette that I have been loving lately so this is the one that um, was redone recently so on the cover of it it says that it has a new formula new look this is kind of like the fall color um, palette, I would say. You know the old one with the squares? Um, this one is the new version of that. I have noticed that um, this is something where it looks like they've changed up a few of the colors, added a few, and the size of the palette squares are um, a little bit smaller than they were before but overall I'm really liking the, the way that this one um, uh, uh, the formula works for it I haven't seen a huge difference but I have always noticed you know wet and wild is one of those brands that they're affordable they um, and they have a decent pigmentation these days especially for the price point so you guys know me, you know I love um, affordable quality brands and as you'll see as you get to know me a little bit more, Wet n Wild is one of my go-tos. So for my everyday look, this is one of the palettes that I love to grab and um, use as something quick and easy. So let's go ahead and get started here. I think what I'm going to do is start off with this um, transition orangey color. This is something that I feel like it's the right season for this. This may even be something that I would do if it was in the middle of summer still. I um, am a super big fan of this palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my crease here. Um, so far on my face, I have everything done except pretty much like my eye area and um, my lips. I have already put foundation, set with powder, contoured, and um, put blush, no highlighter yet. So we'll do that here in a second. And I'm just using that orangey color. That's the very first shade at the top of the palette. I love this brush to use for my crease. This is a Morphe M433 brush. I think it's just like the perfect amount of density, fluffiness, and then shape. For some reason, I think it really like fits with that like half moon shape that you use when you're going in for your crease here. Anything, but I guess they're not. I'm gonna go and use this one right here, and I'm gonna put this more specifically in my crease. Um, this one I'm not gonna blend out too much. It's just gonna go right into the corner to add some dimension. So I'm using a little bit of a smaller brush to do that.
I do like this palette because it um, builds nicely, it blends well, and I personally just can't get over the price for what you're getting. I think it's definitely one of those must-haves from Wet n Wild. go back and blend out I think one thing that has been really a game changer for me is making sure that I'm going in my um, under my lash line and putting some color and definition down there I don't do like a whole lot but it's just enough to make my eye stand out a little bit more and I just mixed the two colors that I've already used for the crease and then the definition and I'm just gonna go back in and blend them out And this is every day this isn't like something that I want to spend like a whole lot of time on so it's something that I'm usually trying to be pretty decently quick about so next thing I'm gonna do is go in with this lighter bright color there it's got almost like a cream tone to it grab a little bit of that and I'm going to um, put that in my inner eye This makes another big difference. Um, I would definitely take a second to make sure you do this. Because it's just going to make your eyes look bigger and make them pop a little bit more. And it's only going to take a second to do it. And I'm just going to go kind of blend that out a little bit. Okay, so I'm not going to be doing any kind of lashes or anything today, um, false lashes. I very rarely do those when I'm going out anywhere. It's going to have to be like a serious big time event for me to go ahead and put some lashes on. Um, you'll probably see me um, with them in a lot of my videos. Um, I think that if there's something that makes you feel a little bit more confident and a little bit more, you know, you got this, you should definitely do it. And lashes are something that that's for me. So you'll see them from time to time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes, finish off my eyes real quick with mascara and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so next up what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go in with my highlighter. I am obsessed with this palette. I know it's super, not old, but you know, an oldie buddy goodie. But I love this Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette. I um, am obsessed with it, especially this color here in the middle, the Glow Getter. You can kind of tell that's the one that's been um dug into the most there but that's definitely my favorite so i'm gonna take this um elf highlighter brush i think this is one of my favorite elf brushes it's definitely something you should go and pick up if you don't have it yet and i'm just going to put the on the tops of my cheekbones here I love using this kind of brush because I feel like it gives a little bit more of a blend than like your normal fan brush. Um, it's definitely one of my go-tos. So I'm just going to blend that out as it gets closer to my nose there. And then um, last thing I'm going to do is put on some um, matte lipstick here i like this jordana sweet cream matte i know it's kind of like an older one but this is a go-to for me just because it's a um kind of like a more neutral color and perfect for every day this one's called buttercream frosting um and it smells so good too 
so, so good. I definitely recommend you checking these out if you haven't yet. Um, I got mine from Walgreens. They're a little harder to find here. Next, I'm going to fix this hair. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab some of my favorite dry shampoo to give me a little bit more texture, a little bit more um, of a boost here. <laughs> I'm gonna go curl the rest of my hair and um, I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. All right, guys, here is the finished look for today. This is my everyday go-to look. Um, it's super easy and the products I use are super affordable so I would definitely recommend you checking them out they are definitely on my must-haves list um, thank you so much for watching I am so excited to finally get this kicked off and started this is definitely something I have been thinking about for a very long time so I appreciate you and until next time expect something from me very very soon Bye, guys.